Hello, welcome back to Dragon Guard. So, we're finished, right? That's the end. We killed the last boss. Some stuff happened, and then, <laughs> oh, but yeah, obviously, the Blanche B. So, the world has branched, and we find ourselves in an odd forest where Zero Cycle is interrupted, and disciples no longer remember their intoners. So, what's going on here? Ooh. Strange, eh? <laughs> okay. To uh, once again quote the Dark Kid from his previous Dragon Guard LP, uh, strap in kids, it's about to get fucking weird. Right, first things first, I'm gonna upgrade the spear because it's gonna be my new weapon of cheese for the next, like, few stages. Yoink. Uh, and I obviously can't upgrade because I need a platinum. What's my bobber? And it, when I do get a platinum, but what's my bobber? Look at that damage! That is beastly! Yeah, you can't ask for extra damage like that in just any marketplace. That's special, like, ass fuckery kind of. Beep beep. Anyway, should we find out what's happened? Will they even remember anything? Do they know something's wrong? Like I said, it's about to get weird. And it only gets weirder the further we go in, in this rabbit hole. Oh, Dragon Guard. I raised my fruity cider at you. Time doesn't always flow in a single direction. Divergence, Branch B. In the flow of post-cataclysm history, if a unique set of conditions known as singularities come together, splits occur in time, resulting in the multiple world divergence phenomenon. It is now April the 1st, 1000 AD. 28 days since the singularity known as Zero resumed activity. The first anomaly occurred when Zero encountered the old man known as Okta, and the forest they were expected to enter manifested in a different form. M3210 E0020 QV. Begin recording. Oh my yes. So we are in the forest again, however. We have four disciples. Uh, uh. Who knows what... I don't know... It's difficult to see how much they know at this point. But certainly they're aware that something is kind of off. Anyway. Decadus, give me some cloth, will ya? Are you hurt, my lady? No. This stupid forest made my period come early. Oh. oh. <gasps> Dito's right. You are a freak. Here, my lady. Have all the cloth you want. Could it be any more damp around here? Even my sweat is sweaty. Oh. I know, right? This place blows chunks. Yes, but the discomfort is somehow ooh, accelerating. Yeah, whatever, freak. Well, isn't this strange? The forest up ahead used to be far more lush and verdant than this. Something has happened since last I visited. I can feel it. Uh, you can feel it? Oh, goodness. What a load of superstitious nonsense. Now, I, of course, reject such mystic foolishness in favor of science. Proof, theories, experimentation, this is the way of the world. But I probably shouldn't expect you Neanderthals to understand any of that. Cram it, Professor. Three's inside this forest, right? She's here, isn't she? You seem awfully pleased about that. I'm just excited to meet one of your sisters. Well, I'm excited to kill her. Aw, oh, come on! Hey, Scent. What do you know about two? Two? Two, two, two. Yeah, sorry. Don't know her. You mean you forgot her? <laughs> How can I forget a person I've never met? All right, guys. Time to go. You want me to go butt roll ahead, Zero? It's patrol, dummy, not butt roll. That's what I said! That's totally what I said! You know... I keep waiting for him to get smarter, but it's just not happening. How about it, Scent? Want to add some biting wit to the situation? Aw, oh, come on. Give me something. Anything. Hmm? What? Oh, so now you decide to be normal? Pfft, forget it. You're useless. 
Well, since the dragon's butt rolling ahead, we might as well. Uh, I just oh. can't stop thinking about this too, person. A world where disciples don't know their intoners. Strange. What's even more strange is what's coming up, though. A weird forest that looks suspiciously like stages we've already been in. If I was to be cynical. Which I am, by the way, totally cynical. But there's going to be some differences. And, like I said, things getting weird. We like a bit of weird around here anyway. Or at least I do. Normalcy is just so... Ooh. Exhilarating. Ooh. The Tainted Forest. Alrighty then. I'm gonna go watch for stuff from above, okay? I'm gonna watch real hard. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> I was about to say the same thing. Yeah, do that. Yeah, you, you knock yourself out, baby boy. Yeah, NP. Ugh. Stupid kid. Anyway. We use our big, burly, completely impractical um, spear whoa, mace. Whoa, whoa, What's the deal with all this fog? I'm telling you. Something's weird about this forest. Yes, but... But what? If you it say the discomfort is exquisite or some shit, I swear I'll cut your head off. I don't know. Uh. Uh. We'll send another messenger. Now, the thing is, the enemies actually look slightly different here. You may have noticed they're slightly thicker and burlier. But not only that, they're also a hell of a lot tougher. Um, also, yes, we are walking through a stage backwards. Get used to that. Devil May Cry 4 all over again. Oop. Though, different things happen, so it's okay. It's not like the stage was particularly interesting to begin with. Anyway. It's the forest, so we can expect the usual trolls, trogs, various other nasties. Defeat the enemy's block. Oh! Oh, no, you don't! Ah, uh, crap. Oh, oh! Spirits are possessing these bodies. Spirits are attracted to deceased human corpses. They claim the bodies. That's some hobby. Dead bodies make great disposable transport. What's the deal with this fog? We don't have time to worry about that now. If we don't stop that dragon, it'll torch us and the forest. What dragon? He's pissed off. Uh, I could go into internal mode to deal with this. I may actually do so, because these guys are kind of annoying. Yeah, let's just punch these guys. Oh, I completely miss. Oh, zero, zero, zero. Darling, that was rubbish. No matter how you look at it, that was poor. Anyway, there's less dudes than our spirits now, so we can just clean up. Yoink. Come on, die already. Ugh. The main problem, as when the spirits first appeared, is that they're just so strong. They make, they make the standard baddies really burly. Which means we've got to be quite careful, otherwise we end up getting squished. Hooray! Does that mean we can move on? I think it does. Yeah, so the main difference here, apart from the fact it's tainted, quote quote, is the fog. fog. It seems the enemy has an endless supply of low level minions. Oh. Truly, Decadus? This turns you on as well? No. Yeah, something about this forest definitely feels off. You think? Well, it is filled with both spirits and the undead. And it's a pain in the ass. And it's not just that. I'm thinking this fog might be poison. Poison, huh? Eh, it's probably fine. That's it? Really? Eh, it's probably fine. It's probably the most concern you'll get from Zero at this point, so... Spirits and the undead feels like something of a fool, Zero. Yeah, good attitude, But I suppose that's the best I'm not like you, you know? What? I am a disciple. Just the same as you. <laughs> yeah. We may have the same title, but the similarity ends there. I, for example, am amazing. Well, you are... less so. Hey, Decadus, try not to kill him, okay? Because if anyone here is going to kill him, it's me. Uh, no one really likes Scent, which is understandable because Scent is a penis. He's a penis who's also not very smart, so there you go. Again, it's the same damn pattern every time. They do seem to enjoy entrapping their prey. Did someone say entrapment play? Oh. No, Decadus, no one said entrapment play. We said trapping their prey. 
Honestly, man. I hate this one and two at a time shit. I wish they just rush me all at once and get it over with. For once, Z, I think I actually agree with you. Which is pretty scary when you think about it. You do love to promote our fair and toner, don't you? Yeah. And I'm gonna love killing you even more. So yeah, in case you're wondering, Shindig with the uh, necromancers, they're very similar to the... God damn it! Said. I have no idea. Don't be impressed. He pulls all this shit out of his ass. <laughs> Come now. This forest is tainted because it lacks fairies. Don't you see it? Surely I can't be the only one. I really, really hate this guy. <sighs> well, he does have a use. He's reasonably okay at combat, I guess. Ah, uh, this is so annoying. These necromancers are a bunch of less grammars. Perhaps our foes are entomologists out to find new insects in their collection. <sighs> You're an idiot. Is that what you were waiting for? Okay, just to clarify, because last time this kind of thing happened in the game, people accused me. I did not censor that, obviously. <laughs> just so we're all clear. It's not me. It's the game poking fun. Alright? So, no no angry posts saying that evil Halloween has censored things. I know you all want to see your gore or your boobies. I'm not censoring nothing. Don't worry. Yay, loading times. Every time there's a big loading time, I think I can start the spider story, but it, just, it isn't just long enough, you know? One of these days. One of these days. Uh, um, aha! Uh, aha! There we are. A checkpoint right before the end of the stage. Always a good sign. What lies ahead? Is it going to be one of those really evil... Oh. Uh. Hey. Oh, you're creepy. Let's get rid of him. The army? Oh, crap. What the hell are these creepy things? What a nice surprise. They say only those with pure heart can see these little guys, you know. Stop talking and fight already. Yeah, stop talking crap would be really better. Anyway, we'll use the sword for now. Cause it's... Oh, that really doesn't do as much damage as I hope. Okay, spear it is. Never mind. I need to change the sword and something a bit better. Driving me crazy. Persistent little bastards, aren't they? Yeah, so three little monsters are here for some reason. As creepy as ever, I see. Spoilers, by the way, for something I'm about to mention here, just the Dragon Guard one. Quickly. Okay. So these are very damn it, zero. I'm tired of playing with dogs. Patience, my lady. It is better to bend like a reed in the wind than to topple like a oak. What the hell are you talking about? You're starting to sound like sex. Okay, what I was going to say is they're very, very similar to one of the things in Dragon Guard 1 in one of the endings. They certainly look very similar and make creepy noises in the same way, so... So, for those curious, the... Oh, nice! Miggy's around. Just clear this mess up. The ending A that we've seen is almost certainly the, the branch that leads into Dragon Guard 1. For those curious, with the Empire. Yeah, I did. So move it. You beat me up. You beat me. Shut up and get to work already. With one looking so much like Mana from the first game, the brother one. Oh, other sister one, I suppose. I got a sneaking suspicion that's where that goes. For a big baby dragon. Whoop. Sorry, you creepy little bastards. I'm here to murder a lot of you. It's nothing personal. Ah! It's nothing personal, but you know, you're in the way. You're creepy. No one likes you, and you make scary noises. Also, we kill. It appears my lady is unaccustomed to such tedious work. I'm not used to any work except killing. Killing isn't work. It's like taking a piss. It comes naturally. Oh, Lady Zero, you're s mm, such a wordsmith. Anyway, last one. Die, please. Hooray! Um.
Oh, look who's here. It's Zero. Hey, three. I'm in a rush, so... You ready to die? <laughs> I suppose, but... Something's wrong with the forest. Can't you hear the voices? The crying? Dear Sister One holds the secret. Up ahead, deeper in the forest. Well, if that wasn't an invitation to go see what was going on, nothing is. So, uh, should we have a look? That makes sense, right? You all want to have a look. You wouldn't want me to stop it here, would you? Before knowing what's going on. Nah, <laughs> that'd be cruel. No one would do that. That's an asshole thing to do. Gaia's Flame! 2300 gold and a gold based material. It's okay, I guess. Should probably upgrade some of the other bits and bobs that require gold. Uh, let's have a look. And have a look at the flame. Guy's flame, that is. Come on, Dragon Guard. I'm waiting. Thank you. Alright. Ooh, Bloodworm's flame. Now ah, we've already got a flame. Let's change weapon. See how much that does. Zero's blade. Eh, we've got things to do reasonable close damage, but. A sword used by cel a celebrated holy woman. Let's see what we can do with this thing. Uh, upgrade. If it starts with gold, we might not be able to go very far, which it unfortunately does. Eh, to leave that for now, to be honest. We could upgrade it once, I suppose, but is there anything else we could upgrade that's slightly better? Let's have a look at what weapons we can buy. Oh, we haven't got any of the fist things yet. That's quite sad. Oh, the bloodlet is quite good, actually. Um, it lasts for a reasonably long time. Let's pick that up quickly. Alright, let's not pick that up, fine. Uh, let's see, upgrade weapon. I think the blood letter upgrades using silver first. Oh, bollocks. Got that wrong. Oh well, let's quickly upgrade it. There we go. Uh, I'll swap to that for now. That's, it's a nice weapon. Uh, it also, as it says on the tin, makes your gauge go quicker. Anyway, blood letter. Yoink! Okay. Oh, right. Potions! How could I forget? Let's just get the, those two. Okay. Well, deeper into the forest it is. How could we, uh, like I said, turn down a thing? Ooh, that's new. Norma City, created by the Cataclysm. It enjoyed prosperity in the church and its magic academy. An accidental magic surge in 995 turned into Ghost Town, also referred to as the Old World. <gasps> Spooky. Well, let's chat to the folks, shall we?